Hello everyone, in this video we will be breaking down the working of Dijkstra's algorithm in 4 minutes. So let's get started. So Dijkstra's algorithm is a shortest path algorithm used in graph theory. Let's imagine having a graph. The graph will be having one source node and rest of the other nodes. So the main aim of Dijkstra's algorithm is to find the shortest path distance from the source node to all the other nodes. That's what is written here. It is used to find the shortest path distances from a single source node to all other nodes in a weighted graph. And the condition over here is that the weight should be non-negative. Now let's understand the working of Dijkstra's algorithm with help of this example. As you can see, I'm having a graph with here A is my starting node and we need to find the shortest distance to every other node from A. For this, I'll need a table to mark down the values of shortest distances of all nodes from the source node and a priority queue. First, we'll be initializing the table source node with value 0 and every other node with value infinity. The priority queue will have A with cumulative path cost 0. So as we are having only one element, in the first iteration, we'll be removing 0a. So after taking out 0a, we'll be exploring it and we'll get 1b and 4c. Now for 1b, we'll check whether 1 is less than the infinity. Yes, it is. So the value of b will be updated to 1 and add 1b to a priority queue. Similarly, for 4c, we'll update the value in the table to 4 and 4c will be added to the priority queue. In the next iteration, priority will be given to 1b since it is having the lowest cumulative path cost. After taking out 1b and exploring it, we will get 6d, 4e and 3c. For 6d, comparing the value of 6 to that of table, it is lower, it is lower, updation takes place and addition of 6d to priority queue takes place. Similarly for 4e as well, and if you observe 3c, the already present value 4 was greater than that of 3. So we have updated the value attached to c to 3 and we'll be adding 3c to our priority queue. As you can see in the priority queue, 3c is now the lowest. In the next iteration, we'll be taking out 3c. After taking out 3c, we'll get 5e and 4f. We'll compare 5e to that of table since 4 is already less than 5, no updation of E is needed in the table. Because of this, 5E will be discarded and not be added in the priority queue. The 4C that we have got is useful for us and updation of F in the table and also the addition of 4F in the priority queue takes place. Now for the next iteration, there are three nodes with similar associated cost with them. In this case, we'll be taking out that node which was added earliest among all the three of these nodes. Therefore, 4c will be taken out next. After taking out 4c, we'll be exploring it. We'll get 6e and 5f. Both of them are no use to us. Hence, they will be discarded. Next, 4e will be removed from the priority queue. And since 4e is not having any child, we'll get nothing out of it. Similarly, for 4f and 6d, in the end, when the priority queue will get empty, the algorithm terminates, it will be returning the shortest path distances of nodes from the source node. So this will be our final output. Alright, 